Hello, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to Munch with Jen and Ben, episode nine. And you know, it has been a great, great, very fun journey because we started over two months ago, and this is the third month. Singapore Circuit Breaker is into the fifth or sixth week. We have uh, two, three weeks more to go before 2nd June, everyone returns to school. All right, so we have about 50 over people joining us on the show and every episode we have about 2,000 views. So this episode, we're going to focus on a very important thing and that is looking good. Before that, let my co-host introduce themselves. Hey, Ben, over to you. Hi, everyone. I'm Benjamin. Thank you for supporting Munch with Jen and Ben. This was really put together to help the community when the crisis first started. So we're very happy now already, episode 9. And today we're going to talk about another very timely topic, which is creating a great virtual impression. Must look good, right? Even if though it's virtually. Right? Yes. So, yeah, I'll pass on to the next. Hey, yes, yes. Before, before you pass on, hey, Ben, we need the Munch Munch virtual background. Huh? Yeah, so we look all look colorful and, <laughs> and great. Huh? Okay, Ben, yeah, that is also a very positive uh, virtual uh, yeah. impression. Okay. Sorry, today using another device, so the, the background doesn't come on. Okay, never mind. We'll punish you with a dance later. Okay, so if you like Benjamin to dance on the screen later, uh, just put on the message, yes, 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 and I click lots of love and lots of likes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, now before we call our coach into the show, hey, can you say a few words? Ken. Hi, hey. I'm Trevor with Ken Kish. <laughs> As you can see, my background is so real. Can you imagine whether this is a virtual background or a real background? <laughs> guess, guess. Yeah, that is a real background, right? Yeah, he, uh, Ken is at the real munch munch. So today the shop is uh, open uh, because of the relaxation of some of the circuit breaker uh, guidelines. Okay, yes. So Ken is at a shop today, that is the Munch Man shop, and in Chinese called Man Man. And we also have on the show, the guy that every guy wants to be, wow. Wow. and the uh, guy that every lady wants to speak to, and this is Coach Joshua Liu. Yeah. Hello everyone, well, it's good to be on the show, back to the show again. It's really fun uh, being the guys here. And today, the topic is, uh, is a lot of people have been asking me, virtual branding. So other than just showing you what we do in terms of uh, color analysis wise, we also do virtual image analysis on the show using just, in, uh, talking about just colors. At the same time, who knows, I might give some tips for the ladies too on how to talk about in terms of using different types of colors in terms wow. of their makeup. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, yes. That is like a super equipment. Uh. Many of you do not know this box, uh, but because uh, being his manager and a speaker buddy, so I've gone to many of his sessions uh, where he taught many salespeople, bankers, how to apply that box onto their face to look super impressive. Uh. So Joshua, ask you a question. Out of the three other guys here, that means myself, <laughs> Benjamin, and Ken, right? Who yes. is the easiest guy uh, to make up? To apply oh. makeup and look good. Yeah. Who's uh, the easiest? Is, this, is this a trick question? Yeah. No, it's a real <laughs> question. You know, you're sharing your professional knowledge. Come on, man. We are objective one. Whatever okay. you say, we are not offended. Ah. Right. And you mean? For makeup to go in, uh, okay, I'm talking about foundation first. Huh? Okay. Foundation wise, the skin must be smooth and nice. So I need each of you to go nearer to the screen, to the camera and see, okay, wow. Mm, rosy. Okay. Wow. Very fair. And what happened here? Mm, mm, well, very, very well fed, Ken. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so the color wise must be done right at the same time. If you have a bit of fine lines, it's always a bit tougher to fill up. So, there are many options, and I'll tell you later during the show on how, maybe another episode, how to choose the right foundation uh, and wow. how to make sure you look good on this. Okay, and, and you, yeah, I know, and you know what, uh, you have just like made Anj with Jen and uh, Ben a show that should go on for multiple episodes. So all our viewers, uh, over 60 of you now, if you are new on the show, this is the ninth episode of uh, Munch with Jen and Ben and this is to bring light, laughter, positive energy to everybody. And if you have seen us for over the past eight episodes and you like this show to continue beyond, co beyond Circuit Breaker, uh, yes, let us know in the chat. You say, yes, continue, continue. Just write continue, okay? Just write mm. continue. And... Of course, so you can also tell that four gentlemen here, we have very long hair because uh, we are all waiting to cut our hair. And more importantly, do we still look fresh? 
hey, to our friends, do we look fresh? Because, yes. uh, yeah, <laughs> actually this morning we, were, we, we ran a two-hour webinar with uh, over 500 or close to 600 people. Uh, so we, we had a long morning, then we had afternoon of work. But now it's time for fun, okay? So today is about creating a positive virtual impression. So every week, what we do is we bring one or two of our fellow advisors and friends in the industry to share with you their practices. Okay, so last week we had Edwina, who is now on the show, joining us on the show. We, last week we also had uh, Wilson, who shared with us on how to create a positive experience. Edwina shared with us on her virtual selling strategies. Now, what about this week? So Ben, would you like to introduce the person that we are going to showcase this week? Yeah, so this week we've invited Agnes Ng. So Agnes Ng was our Asia's um, Trusted Life Agents and Advisors Awards winner in 2018. So she came in tops at the Rookie Agency Leader of the Year category. So in 2018, she won Rookie Agency Leader of the Year. And now she's already a Financial Services Director. So she has really moved very fast. She has progressed very fast and continued to grow after winning the award. Uh, I'm sure the award helped her also. Like, I don't know, maybe you can ask her later. Yeah? So it was yeah. a wonderful, wonderful award. Yeah, so that's Agnes. Um, she'll be sharing with you how to create a great virtual impression. Yes. So from a rookie manager to a financial services director in no, la no more than two years. Huh? So that is like accelerated path. And we already have supporters, you know. Uh, Iris says she's waiting for Agnes. Who else is waiting for Agnes? Woo! Oh, okay. Hi, Iris. Yeah. So today we are going to bring... Uh, Agnes. Keep... Yes, Ken, go ahead. Yeah, today we're going to bring... Accolade is getting longer and longer, you know. Of course. So today we're going to bring Agnes on the show in two formats. One, in a short moment, I will be playing her video of sharing how she maintains and builds a very good virtual impression. And then we will also bring her live onto the show later. Okay, so after the video, bring her live to the show. If you have any questions, you have anything to tell her. So you can put it in the chat and she will reply live to you on the show. So ladies and gentlemen, this is... Agnes Ng, a financial services director in Singapore, sharing with you how she maintains and builds a very strong, positive impression on virtual meetings. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, I'm Agnes. I hope you're coping well in this period. Today I'll be sharing about how to create a great virtual impression for your virtual meetings. Okay, so first of all, why is it important to create a great virtual impression? I've had many meetings and discussions with the other leaders and the consensus is virtual meetings is here to stay. COVID-19 has changed the world. Um, yes, we definitely hope to go back to face-to-face -to -face meeting with our clients, conducting our trading sessions and coachings and meetings face-to-face. -face. The social interactions and the human touch cannot be replaced. However, um, virtual meetings will probably be coexisting in future and so you either you're on board or you'll be left behind. Okay, so as an agency leader, I lead by example for my team. Um, whatever we say as agency leaders, nothing beats us working our thoughts and leading the way. If you're a financial consultant and you need to conduct virtual meetings, so what are the things that you need to look out for? And we're gonna go through this together, okay? You want to leave the impression so good that your clients are looking forward to having the next meeting follow up with you. So I have created a checklist, a checklist of 10 items to create a great virtual impression for you to have your virtual meeting. Okay, number one, lighting. You want to be at a section of the house where you, uh, your face is facing the light, sunlight, and this will be able to create a brightness for yourself and instead of having the windows at the back of yourself. Alternatively, you can get a ring light so that um, you can have the light facing onto your face. Okay. Second, the background. Should you choose a virtual background or the real background? I personally would prefer the, uh, the real background at your home. is to make your clients feel that relatable, that um, you know your client and yourself both are working from home, you're on the same page. And the third would be Wi-Fi. You want to ensure that you have a stable Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so 
if you are not at the Wi-Fi stronger spot, you probably want to look for alternatives. So for myself, I've gotten a Wi-Fi extender. This is something you can get in order to strengthen the Wi-Fi connection. Okay, and the fourth, the fourth would be to look professional. Um, so you can actually put uh, example things like a basic lipstick uh, to have a good lighting and contact lens and they'll be enough. So for the guys, you want to maintain professional example, you can just gel our hair up, okay? And the fifth is to dress up. When you dress up, it auto automatically makes you feel that you are at a work mode, you feel more confident. And you will re you'll spend the rest of your day more productively. Okay, so what do I mean by dress up? Okay, it can be your weekend casual tops when you meet your clients. And then uh, for, so for meetings as, uh, and trainings for my FCs, right now I'll put on a suit um, because it makes a difference. You give the, you create um, the impression and the feeling to your FCs that you are ready, you come very prepared and you bother to dress up for the meeting, for the training. Okay, um, this energy that you transmit through the virtual meeting will go to your FCs and the same thing if you're doing this for your clients, it will affect your clients' experience with you and whether they eventually want to take the conversation further. Okay, the sixth will be to ensure that the iPad or the device that you have is actually on the eye level, like right now I'm looking at you. Seventh point, when you speak, for example, a lot of times when we do Zoom meeting, you might be looking like that. You thought that you're speaking to the client, looking at the client, but actually what you should be doing is to change the habit to look in the camera and look at your clients as you speak. This will make the client feel more personable. Right? For microphone, so is it better to have a wireless or to have a wired one? Okay, the, from my experience, a wired one would be better. It actually gives a stronger connection instead of a wireless one. Okay, and number nine, just speak your normal voice. You do not need to raise your voice or shout just because you thought that um, you're not sure whether you can, your clients can hear you. But not least, you can enhance your clients' experience by getting them their favorite drinks through Grab. Um, when I do that for my clients, they really appreciate it. And the other day over a team training, a meeting session, I arranged Grab uh, to deliver the desserts to their doorsteps and they really enjoy it. So here you go, these are the 10 checklist points that you can do to create a great virtual impression experience for your clients and your team. And the next thing is to get started and apply them. Yay! And that was Agnes sharing her 10, a checklist of 10 things to appear very good on the screen. So Benjamin, what have you learned? I think one of the key things that I learned from her is really to look into the camera. The mm -hmm. eye contact. I think there's a natural tendency for us, right, when we are doing appointments, when even when we are speaking, sometimes we are so focused on the screen or on the slides, we forget to look into the camera to speak to people. So I thought that was a very wonderful tip to look um, into the camera when we speak. Yeah. Yes, we have uh, our friend Con Corinne. Corinne says that those are great tips. And Chris say, awesome tips. Hey, Jason, good to see you again. We saw you yesterday morning. Yeah. Yes, Ken. Can you have something to I say? I also learned something. I also yeah. learned something. She's, yes, she, she thought that uh, about lighting. And if you could see in her eyes, you could see the light reflection. And I realized because of some of us might have dark skin just like me, I'm not well endowed in terms of skin like uh, Joshua, Benjamin, and uh, Jensen. Uh. So <laughs> when you have dark skin, light is very important. That's why I have light with me. You can see yeah. my light skin. That is the oh. real thing, uh, the real thing. Okay, well, well, in a moment, we're going to bring Agnes onto the show. So, uh, Benjamin, we can bring Agnes in. Now, I also picked up one very important thing, and that is what you see right here. That is the microphone, okay? So, mm. uh, you can see that Ken has a headset with a wired mic, and Ben and Joshua has a very good capture of the sound, and I have uh, one of the biggest mic here, of course. <laughs> so, so I like to sound good and sound clear. And so the audio clarity has to be experienced for, for your clients. Hey, Peishan, hi. Peishan say awesome boss, yay. Hi, uh, Tinky, good to see you. Yes, and uh, Pearl, good to see you on the show. Kim Soin, Kim Soin is from, uh, where, where, where are you from? Uh, Li Wei jiang shi fen, uh, shi fen. Okay, come. Whoa, shi fen. Shi fen. Okay, we have Agnes in the show now. 
we are going to bring her onto the screen, okay? Let's see Agnes. Hey, okay, Agnes is coming in. Agnes, come on, show us your video. And wow. Hello, everyone. Hello, Agnes. Hi. Hello, Joshua. Hello, Benjamin. Hello. Hello, Jensen. Hello, hey. Ken. Good to see you. Okay, I'm going to spotlight your video, Agnes. Okay, we're going to ask you questions, but I'm going to spotlight your video because now you're the star. So now you can see Agnes up close and personal on your big screen. So Agnes, mm -hmm. you ran through a list of 10 checklists, uh, 10 checkpoints. Uh. So is it like before you go on a virtual meeting, you look through all the 10 lists first? <laughs> Okay, um, I think after that it has become a habit. Initially, yeah. yes, um, so definitely for um, meetings with the FCs and um, meetings with the clients, I think it will be a little bit different. So I will dress up to be in jackets if I meet uh, my FCs, but more, more for clients, I think I will just dress up as a, you know, ca uh, weekend casuals like I mentioned. So uh -huh. uh, probably the client will feel more comfortable with me when I, when I talk to them in that way. Yeah. Then thereafter, uh, it becomes a habit that more or less, you know, you'll switch on the light and mm -hmm. then you look at the camera and, and, and so on and so forth. Okay, you know, I, I, this interesting question. The, the, the flower, is it an orchid? I don't know what's that at the back. Uh, was it originally there or did you add it in so that it adds a tinge of a uh, nice feel to the video? Yeah, it's not originally there. <laughs> I did it for my virtual background. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's very, very nice. Huh? Yeah, so, yeah, I love them. I think it brings a soft touch to, to business appointments and business meetings. Oh, well, very good. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I you noticed the flower also. Yes, if you have a question for it's Agnes, great. you can leave it on the chat and then we will, uh, then Agnes can answer it live. Whoa, Roy is, Roy says, hello, hi Roy. And then we have uh, Helen who says 100 points to Agnes. Jenny is in the show. Oh, and man. yes, uh, she, uh, she asked if this session will be on video. Yeah, after the end of the show and then our live show, they will be on replay. Okay, Darren says, awesome phone speakers again. Uh, and this round with pretty Agnes. Okay, oh, Agnes. So. You know, uh, the five of us here, you and Joshua, obviously appear the best. So, yeah, yeah, they, both of them appear the best. You come in second, Ben. Okay, you come. Oh, in oh okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you come in second. So now, how do you, how do you have the discipline uh, to make up and dress up your hair and do everything, although we are going on a virtual meeting? How do you get the discipline? Because most people, you know, they will do a bit of hair, wear maybe a top, but then everything below the waist that cannot be seen is very <laughs> on one. Okay? Yeah. So how do you get, I mean, we will ask you to stand up, which we, we know that you're too slow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're not like Joshua, if you stand up, no, just kidding, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is a very good question, Jensen. <laughs> the other day, I was having a meeting with the uh, AMTC moderators. So they were saying, everyone starts at 9 a.m. Um, the whole class was like, wow, the energy a bit low because just started the day. And then so the trainer says, come on, let's all stand up and stretch. Wow. <laughs> Oh. Everyone in laughter. Okay. <laughs> so from then on, right, it motivated me. I better dress up all the way. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So, so it's okay, important but, full suit, huh? Uh, but nonetheless, uh, maybe I want to share is that um, I would, okay, so I think sometimes it's a, it's a chicken and egg thing. So I will pack my day with appointments. So knowing mm -hmm. that my day is packed with appointments and coaching and trainings, I will dress up from the starting of the day and that will kickstart the whole productive day, um, uh, you know, to come. So this is um, my, my sharing to plan your next week appointments right now already so that by the time next week um, starts, you have the appointments and you will start dressing up every day. Okay, so starting of circuit breaker when, you know, we start we started off this whole adapting of changes when there's no appointments yet. So what I'll do is I will still motivate myself to uh, have the discipline to at least uh, put on a lipstick, put on the contact lens, and you know just a decent top will do. And then uh, get myself started uh, the day because it will make it will make me feel in the mood to uh, that I'm in the work mood, and then uh, you know it, somehow the confidence will kick in, and then you will start doing the work. Wow, well, totally agree there. So fill out your calendar with a lot of activities, a lot of appointments, a lot of virtual meetings, and then you will dress up and get into the mood so that you're in for work. For example, today, early in the morning, we had a whole session of seminars. So uh, Joshua, Benjamin, uh, Ken and myself. And I, so, so usually we are not dressed like that for a month with Jen and Ben show, uh, but today we are dressed up more because the topic of uh, creating a positive impression. Another question, you know, there's a number five uh, on your lapel, uh, on the number five on your lapel. Does that changes with the number of cases you close every week. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I I wish to lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is is that a special meaning to number five? Because I I'm you know as a producer or host of the show, we ask question in the mind of the audience. Ah, uh. what what does number five mean? Uh, this one is the 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 brand Chanel. So usually I like the brand, so I will ah. uh, wear the brooch like this. Um, uh, because usually even face to face meeting, I will I will dress up uh, usually with a brooch with the jacket as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, right now I'm doing the same for the virtual meetings. Okay, cool, cool. Now we're gonna bring Joshua into the talk here. Joshua, Joshua mm-hmm. being a very uh, well known celebrity personal branding consultant. And of course, today we have uh, Agnes here. And then is it okay we, we, we let him have a conversation with you and he will mm. pinpoint all the good things that you are doing? Cool? Sure. Okay, <laughs> so for the rest of our audience, now you can wait for your turn now because in this episode, just like the previous episode, we're going to bring two audience members, okay, onto the show to get the very personal and live personal coaching on image, okay? So uh, mm. we have... Agnes, who is uh, definitely uh, Ipaifen. Uh, the audience already said Ipaifen. Mm-hmm. Okay, Joshua, over to you, Jack. Joshua. Sure, sure. Okay, so first of all, Agnes, I think for you, you really did what was required. You set the thing right from the start. <clears throat> first impression is important because your online presence is an extension of your offline branding. So you maintain it, you smooth it in. So like what people say, people will trust you when they see you online or offline. And with this, I'm talking about colors-wise. I am not sure that I see from the screen that um, Agnes is still being screened. Um, Jensen, can you show uh, me and Agnes to show some colors in terms of the hair color, what hair color she did, and so on and so forth? Okay, okay. I'm going to bring Agnes into the spotlight now. Okay. Yeah. And for me, I have to do the with the virtual background because it might cut off something. Yes. Yes. Well, that is like what you see the hairstylist brings to you uh, in the salon. Uh-huh. No? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can, yeah. I, can I do my hair now? Yeah, what color would you like? <laughs> yeah. So altogether, there are many colors here according to different skin tone. I can see that for, for you, Agnes, your skin tone is pinkish. It looks like you're in terms of the cool skin tone. How do I know? Because of the blush and also your lip color blends very well. But your hair color, can I ask you, is it, uh, has it been for a while already or did you just do it on your own? Did you go to the hair salon or DIY? No, it's from, it's from the hair salon. Sure, sure. And uh. it's been about um, a month? Mm, about there. So the color breaker. <laughs> Before circuit breaker, right? Before, Before circuit breaker. <laughs> so if I can tell you that maybe the your hair studies might from what I see, it could be strawberry brown, but the color has sped up a bit. So the mm. color changes and the color does hinges a bit more different from yours because for you, someone who might be cool skin tone, if your hair color changes to this, what happened to you? it becomes a bit more on the warm skin tone. So two types of skin tone for okay, you. Yeah, I'm going to spotlight Joshua's video so that we can see what you are showing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joshua, hold on a minute. And here we go. Yeah, Joshua, I think, I think it's the light and the photography conditions uh, that's causing the, maybe a different color tone on, on our hair. Yeah, can you see that my hair is actually gray? <laughs> I thought yours is blue. <laughs> yeah, it's blue, gray, yeah. but it's just black. Right? Okay. <laughs> okay, Joshua, come, continue. Show us your, what is that? Far power, the fan. That's right. Yeah, so we have this, which is more in terms of a color tone, cool or warm skin tone. And um, first of all, I'd like to say, Agnes, you did whatever you say is very accurate. I'm talking about the three ground, which is the foreground, which is the background, mid ground, then the foreground. So this is my uh, background, quite simple. Plain, so whatever colors I wear, you will stand out. For you, you add on with what we call flowers. That sets the mood and ambience. You should always do that. But today, because we have Munch Munch show, so we do a background just now, virtual background, so that we become more collective together as a theme. Then mid ground is actually in terms of your dressing wise. And you're right, from the beginning, I see your earrings. I see even in terms of your, the makeup, the things you put in, you make an effort. Customer must see that you make an effort so they don't know that you're really serious about meeting them including everyone of us. So we have got meeting and all this, I will do exactly like this. And this morning, Jensen, Ben, Ken, and even Jason, we have a morning training all the way to afternoon. And what do I do? There's a bit of lag time. We're still doing work, right? Ben and Jen, and also Ken. Yes. So I had a fast wash of my hair because I need my scalp to keep it clean. Then after that, I re my hair because I know I have responsibility to show to my audience out there or people I'm meeting. So you are doing it correctly on this, okay? And to find out the right color tone for you, I would like to share with all. And of course, some of my friends from, um, I know that some of them logging from Hong Kong, South Africa, Europe, in terms of in terms in Indonesia. And this is how we can do to find from you whether you're cool or warm skin tone. 
Okay, now is Joshua sharing his uh, strategies and tools on how you can be color analyzed virtually. Yes, but of course I do still need maybe Agnes in another model later. Just a fast one. For example, if I would take this lady, okay, and I put it under this, exactly to where the face could be, we need it to be more or less quite accurate to find where the face could be. And just place it there. And then I'll just copy again. And I'll just put it on to show you the difference between warm and cool skin tone. And Joshua, we don't want to see pictures of other people. We want to see pictures of you know, people that we know. So in the audience, if you like to have your image color analyzed by Joshua, put in the comments, me, 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 okay? Ken, you have an important role. Look at everyone who mentioned me and pick one of them, okay? So Ken will pick one and Benjamin yes. will, will, will pick one. I am one. going to scour the web. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll pick, yes. Because yes. What, we, what we want to do is we want to see some live do thing. Do let me know. Sure. Okay. So what you can do is that after this, so this is what we do uh, to file from you virtually how to find the right color tone for yourself. Uh, there's also another way other than me checking for you. So I'd like to ask Agnes, Agnes, do you look better in terms of pure white or off white? I, I'm you... also thinking. Okay, this is an important question. Uh, you see, I think one through so many sessions of Joshua. This I don't one, know. I, can, I don't know. Maybe, answer. maybe you can advise me. Sure. The audience, okay, Joshua, you hold on. Audience, you also got to answer this question. Ask yourself: yes. Do you look better in pure white or off white? For example, I know I look better in pure white. So the answer is going to give you an in uh, indication to what Joshua is going to share. It's right. Oh, off white. Hey, Benjamin, pure white or off white? Uh, I seldom wear white actually. <laughs> Benjamin okay. looks good in pure white. Oh, uh, thank you. I look good in any white. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about me? How about me? How about me? Okay. You look good in the purest white, bro. <laughs> okay. So we have got other than pure white and off white, there's another one. Do you look better in pink or do you look better in orange? And that will show you also whether you're cool or warm, warm skin tone. Lastly, do you look better in pure black or do, do you look better in brown? So all these colors will show, for example, you look better in pure white, okay? You look better in orange, you look better in, uh, sorry, pure white, pink, and also in terms of um, black, you look better, you actually cool skin tone. So in this case, I can see that for Agnes, it seems that for her skin tone, all this, her hair color is a bit warm. That's why I'm a bit concerned, apprehensive. Uh, so hair color is warm, her skin and her lip color that she's using is a bit more cool. So there's a clash. So when there's a clash, uh, Agnes, some, a customer will find that uh, you look great, okay, you look healthy, but something that doesn't match up. So it could be the hair color that's washed out already. Okay, oh, you better be careful. Uh. She got a lot of supporters on the show, okay? <laughs> yeah, they will all bombard you on your Facebook uh, later. You will find like hundreds of messages. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Okay, <laughs> okay. We, uh, we, other than talking about image, we also want to uh, pose some questions to Agnes on creating the best virtual impression. So if you have any questions for Agnes on uh, for example, how did she, why did she pick the flower instead of a picture at the back? Uh, what's important in the background, in her opinion? And you can see that she nicely dressed in quite solid blue versus the light background. So in this case, naturally stand out in the mid and the foreground uh, on the screen. Okay. Mm. So, hey, Benjamin. Yes, Ben. Ben, you have been very quiet. Come on, man. This is, uh, hey, Ben, would you, would you share with our audience also, now what is, uh, you know, Agnes won the Rookie Agency Leader of the Year in 2018. I still remember she, she got the award in Manila and we were all there. Yes. So could you share like, uh, what does it take to be a Rookie Agency Leader? Yeah, come. Sure, sure. Sorry, today a bit distracted because I'm using a new device. So I'm still trying to, so not home ground uh, today, <laughs> using a different device. Yeah, yeah. So, but um, yeah, I think um, Agnes, I mean, don't just ask her questions about image or now this virtual impression, yeah? I think um, some of you may not know, actually Agnes is also a moderator for the AMTC course. So other than her very busy schedule with her own team of advisors and financial consultants, she also takes time to, to give back to the company, give back to the industry by being a moderator for this uh, agency management training course. So if you have any questions about um, financial consultant or recruitment or leadership, you can type in your questions in the, the chat, box as, chat box as well. And uh, Agnes will be more than happy to answer, answer them. Yeah. Uh, like I introduced her just now, I think she has pro continued to progress rapidly since uh, her win of the award in Manila. Um, yeah, so she has, uh, she's now a financial services director. I think she 
If I'm not wrong, she got promoted every year. Am I right, uh, Agnes? Uh, yes, I was actually very fortunate, so I uh, progressed year on year, so now uh, with FSD rank. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh. must participate in the awards, um, you know, finalists, winners. I think you will progress much faster. Uh, for all future. <laughs> yeah. this year, next year, must participate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the awards is just closed already, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the judging, judging is actually happening this Friday. Friday. Yeah. 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 yeah, so very excited. Um, I think even with the COVID situation, uh, we were very happy to get um, over 250, about 250 entries from 12 markets. So even with the current situation, we still got very good numbers. Um, yeah, I, I was, when we were reading through the, the entries, for a lot of them, MDRT, COT, TOT, like free one, you know. It's like, wow, so many multiple COT, TOT, MDRT. So this year is going to be another exciting year in terms of the finalists and the winners. Yes, yes that's right. So for Agnes to win the award in 2018 is definitely no mean feat uh, is amazing performance on her and her team so to Agnes and your team please continue to do well and thrive and fly in your business and to all the advisors in the industry Agnes you can uh, if you want to stay connected with Agnes she is on the show and you can send her a message connect with her on Facebook so we will have uh, Agnes take leave from this webinar so they can continue enjoying the show on the Facebook and we will bring in one or two other uh, audience member to be profiled. So Agnes, you can say uh, goodbye and thank you very much. Leave a few words for the audience, come on. Sure, I want to thank um, um, Benjamin and Jensen also for the opportunity to be here, to share. And uh, in fact, actually, you know, even this period, I want to encourage everyone that you might not know, but actually there could be um, people, uh, who, your work family, your family, your friends who are supportive of you. Just like when I was going to attend this uh, webinar, uh, I, I received a lot of encouraging messages and like um, our chief customer officer, uh, thank you, he's on the show right now. So I want to say, uh, use this to encourage everyone. You might not know, but people are actually um, there to support you. Okay, have a good uh, week ahead, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you, Agnes. We'll see you again, Agnes. And now let me bring everybody back onto the show. So, mm -hmm. Ken and uh, Benjamin, have you picked anyone for our yes, live? Uh, I have, I've yeah. managed to find two persons. Okay. One is Jason. He's actually queuing up. Okay, we'll let him in now. Okay, we we'll, we'll do Jason first. Okay, yeah. Jason. Jason, yeah. we saw you yesterday morning, I think. Right? <laughs> Let's bring Jason into the show. Jason, where are you? Yeah. Hey, what? Jason is a speaker, I think. You see, yeah? <laughs> hey, oh, hi. Hey, hey, Jason. Hey, Hello, hi, Jason. Hey. hey, hi, Ken, Benjamin. Hey, Joshua. Uh, hey, hi. Yes, hi. Uh, okay, good to see you, Jason. <laughs> yeah, how to put you in? How to put you in? Yes, yes. Yeah, my hair is quite short also. <laughs> Jason is also an agency leader, uh, has many years of experience in the industry. Okay, Jason. So, Coming on the live on the show means you will get a uh, live color analysis done with yeah. Joshua. <laughs> Joshua, can you tell him how this is going to be done? Okay, I'm going to pin his video on my screen. Yes. And um, okay, the lighting may not be the best. One of the best lighting to actually is natural daylight or in terms of the light from the bulb. It looks right now a bit fair, but I, if you can just hold for a while, I'll do a screenshot mm -hmm. of you now on my computer. Yay. Okay, just one more time. Just hold for a while, okay? Jason, uh, from what I understand, Jason is someone who loves uh, SUVs and he likes taking pictures. Are you still taking pictures, Jason? Uh, not right now, yeah. I rest <laughs> for the last two months already. <laughs> okay, rest for the I last still take at home. I still uh, take video for YouTube, yes. <laughs> wow, nice. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so Jason, you, you probably would have one or two questions for Joshua in a moment. Uh. Joshua, when you're ready with the picture, let us know, okay? I'm actually cropping his picture right now and uh, saving it onto my desktop. And for this, I'd like to ask for, for Jason, do you like to wear more in terms of uh, pure white or, off, or do you look better in pure white, off white usually? Uh, off white. Off white, okay. At the same time also, uh, when you look at it, have you ever wear, do you, do you think look better in blue or in green? Probably blue, yes. Blue, okay. So I've actually gotten his uh, picture. I would like to share screen soon. Uh, before this, let me go to here. Okay, so let me just share my screen from here. Can you see uh, the picture right now of Jason? Uh, yeah, okay. we can, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
So I've got cropped this and I'll move this to resize it to exactly the face that will be here. And I'll put one here and I'll, con I'll actually copy over this side. And just simple, I will now take over because he mentioned about blue and green. Okay, let me take the pink and orange first. Guys, doesn't mean that you must wear pink, okay? It's just whether you look good in pink. Of course, I think at Ben, you look great in pink, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so take a look at Jason. Now tell me whether for every one of them, okay, those on the show, do you think Jason looks better in pink or do you think Jason looks better in orange? Okay, which one makes him look fairer? nicer, not just like a South Korean actor, okay? Hey, actually, he looks, South, he looks like a Korean actor, right? Yeah. Oh, 20 <laughs> years ago, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, so people... His, his eyes, his eyes looks very Korean. Oh, wow. And which Korean star has his eyes? Uh? Uh, all the Korean stars. Uh, wow, Jason. Okay, cool. <laughs> Keep going, Joshua. Yes, okay, so in this case, uh, should we ask from the uh, yeah. viewers, what color is good for him? Is it pink or is it more in terms of orange? Okay. Um, I can see some of you. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a bit lagging on my the phone part here. So if I can, orange, so, eh? Seems to be orange, is it? Now if you look at it, it seems that the, the pink itself is very fair on him, but orange right. gives him a bit of color. Hmm. Color means actually he has got this thing called Xue Se. Now, for those people who want to actually yes. see the blood cow, there are two there are drinks here. Of course, we are not trying for more brands. There are drinks here that is very good for right now. I've been taking one is there is more in terms of green salad uh, and fruits, and the other one is more on berry. I've been taking this to increase my blood circulation feel, so that I look more pinkish. And Joshua, so, every time you recommend something, uh, the next day is out of stock. <laughs> That's why I cover up. That's why I cover up, right? <laughs> yeah. So in this case, uh, Jason, uh, I think that you might look slightly better in orange. You look fresher on you, okay? And the pink might look a bit more washed up. So in this case you might look good in terms of warm skin tone. So warm skin tone, if I can take away this now, they're all together. Um, let me just delete this away first. Warm skin tone, Jason. Jason, do you have a lot of orange clothes at home? I don't have. Don't have, huh? I just see black. So the, the next <laughs> Chinese New Year, you know what you should wear. <laughs> when when uh, uh, Joshua put the color of purple and orange, huh? Uh, Jason looks very nice with orange. The you can see it's very obvious. It gives you the shiesa, as uh, Joshua was saying. It gives mm. him uh, uh, not, not like there's blood on his face like shiesa. It, it just gives the more perky a perky feel, you know. Yeah. And I think it's great. And I did not know what colors actually suit me until uh, Joshua actually shared with me. Yeah. So so with this also we can see for that for Jason not going to enlarge this bigger. So this is more of the warm and cool skin tone. If you look at Jason in the cool skin tone on the left side on the screen, this part over here, he looks a bit more, just a bit more dull, but on the right side, he does look brighten up. So the answer is, Jason, you might look slightly better in neutral towards warm skin tone. Okay? okay. Of course, uh, I would still want to say that the best is still using natural daylight or light that is actually more white. Because when I look at Jason again, let me pin his uh, video. Jason does look slightly more, yeah, the light itself is a bit more harsh on you. So Jason, yes, yes. when you are looking more in terms of uh, neutral towards warm skin tone, the drinking that you have here must also complement. The color that will make you look slightly better with more in terms of a bit more on the off-white color or any colors that's non-blue non based tone. Okay. Oh, I think I've seen Jason in very simple colors or rare, rarely in colors. Huh? Jason, you're, you're not a very colorful person in your dressing, yeah. right? In office, most of the time it's a white color. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, so maybe what? because of my lighting also. Yeah, if I if I turn a bit of uh, to the, let me see. Uh, wow. Oh, oh, you have so many lightings, is it? He's a photographer, you see. So this is uh, like uh, a actually I also using the ring light as what this uh, oh, Agnes uh, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. using ring light also. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe Jason, show us uh, in terms of your palm. Uh, if you can show your palm near to here, I just take a look here. Okay, do do you see that your palm is a bit more pinkish or a bit more uh? Off or, or peachy? Would you able to see? Yeah, it looks uh, it looks pink, but it's tints of yellow. Do you take a lot of chili, Jason? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, what happened? Right? No wonder oh. I used the word neutral, neutral towards warm because it seems that once you look at my palm, I don't really take chili. My palm is a bit more pinkish. Mm. Okay, I'm a non chili taker. So for those people who are in the South Asian people, have you seen Miss Korea, Miss China, Miss Taiwan, Miss Japan? 
very fair and pinkish. But Miss Singapore, Miss Malaysia, Miss Thailand, Miss Sentosa, I'm just joking. Okay. <laughs> we tend to be take a lot of curry, chili, <laughs> uh, be more in terms of orangey. Okay? okay. So you are confirmed okay. more in terms of neutral. At this point, it will be more neutral towards slight warm color tone. Of course, I would love to see you in person. Once I see you in person, I can give you a better analysis. But now at this point, this is the best analysis for you. Is she you're more in terms of neutral towards warm skin tone? Okay. Hey, I'm I'm curious, Jason. Haven't you attended any of the image profiling sessions or image branding sessions in your company by Joshua? Uh, yes, Joshua. Uh, wow. I can't remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't think so. Don't think so. Yes. But another okay. lady. Yes. Okay. okay. Oh, and okay. Yes. Yes. All right. So, Jason, you have any questions for Joshua since you are live onto the show, and this is the show where we have a little bit of fun, we have a little bit of chat, uh, we enjoy yes, each other's yes, company. Yes. Okay, Jason, uh, come. Yes. I just want to ask because uh, uh, two, three years ago when my friend asked me, hey, maybe I can uh, keep some beer here. So I, I actually, I started to uh, have some beer here. So sure. some people don't like it. So but some people, when they first time, say, hey, yeah, yeah, it suits me. So I'm not sure, is it a good idea to uh, keep a bit of beer here? Sure, sure. Uh, uh, I think Jason, I'll let me share with you. You do have a bit of boyish face. So the person yeah. who tell you to keep the so-called moustache and also the beard wise, may want yeah. to increase your so-called maturity feel on this. Mm. I'm not so concerned about here. I'm a bit more concerned about here, the eyebrow. Because yeah. the eyebrow shapes your eyes. Jason, you have got very nice Japanese eyes, which means the eyes itself could be a bit more straight cut like this. So what you can do is that if your eyebrow itself can be just do a bit inwards, what happened here? Here is not so flat out. Okay. Yeah. Person who has got slightly sharper nose, the eyebrow move in, but of course, not too near, just a bit more in so that your nose, everything looks sharper and you look more alert. Okay, mm. it's up to you. You don't necessarily have to do that. But I know of people who are directors, people who are in terms of professionals or those in the professional um, career field, professionals, they even do a bit of drawing. Some of them even went for eyeball embroidery. But this eyeball embroidery is very natural. It's never done by a lady. It just helps to add in some fill up so you don't have to care about it. It's just more on here. And this part over here, if you like it, I think you look cool. Yeah, I'll call you Mr. Ajinomoto. Is it okay? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Depending on the branding. If your branding is this way, it does give people a feel of style, but yet there's still maturity on this. Mm. Just more on the sure. eyebrow eyes. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so now you know what you should yeah. do for your eyebrow uh, and uh, the, the beard part. Uh. Okay, Jason, thank you very much for coming on thank to the show with thank us you, Joshua. Yeah, and showing thank your you. picture with us. Okay, Jason, thank you. Thank you. Yay. Now, we have uh, one more slot, one more slot, one more slot, a uh, quick one. We have someone who comes live onto the show to get profiled by uh, Joshua, okay, by Coach Liu. And if you're wondering, what is this show about? For those of you who have just joined us, this is Munch with Jen and Ben, episode 9. And every week on Tuesday night, we come to you live from Facebook and on Facebook via a Zoom platform to share with you more positive vibes and good news and strategies and skills to uplift your life and the business that we are in, okay? Yes, Benjamin, you, your pointing finger means what? Uh? Uplift, uh, so I'll uh, take her a bit. Uh, uplift, okay. yeah. <laughs> yes, to uplift, uh, okay, to uplift yourself. Now, so... Jason, thanks very much for being in the show with us. Okay. Now, okay, Joshua. Now, you've spent yes. a lot of tips uh, on, uh, from color analysis. Yes, How, you, uh, 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 we've, been waiting, we've been waiting for people to... We've been waiting for uh, anyone who is uh, very brave enough to get in front of the camera, in front of uh, Joshua. And we realized some of them just finish work and a bit messy with the hair. Yeah. So uh, we have people who are saying, uh, do the color decoding for me. So if you don't have a next one, maybe you can do it on me. La. Okay. For people sure. of darker skin. Yeah, Helen so, says, yeah, I saw it. Helen says, do it for Ken Kish. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yes. Okay, so uh, uh, Joshua, you have many of Ken's pictures, I'm sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would like to do um, a screenshot from here. Is it better? Let okay, me just go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so now uh, we'll have Joshua take a screenshot of uh, uh, Ken. And then Hello, we... Ken. Ken, I might need you to just uh, bring down your light a bit more because the white light overpower a bit. Yeah. Yeah. You so cute already. I, I was to trying to be <laughs> fair. Okay. How about like that? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, while you're, while you're doing it, let me welcome the other viewers to our show. Hi, Mingyi. Good to see you. Mingyi is a good friend. I think this is the first time you're on the show with us. Is it the first time? Let us know. Yes, Wilson, you want to be profiled. You will 
Joshua already did for you last week. Oh, but it wasn't on color analysis. Last week was on face shape, okay? Yes. So Mingyi is in the show. Annabelle says, uh, okay, to be profile the next time. Who else? Now, we'd like you to leave a message in our show. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, Joshua, you're done. Ready? Uh, yes, I screenshot. I'm copying it for um, Ben now. And i have right now going to put it onto the screen in Ben's, um, I mean, Ken's picture. Okay. I hey. first time got handsome, handsome men want to take my photo. I feel so happy. <laughs> First time, there's handsome men who want to take a picture, but they, they're always your pretty ladies who want to take a picture, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of oh, like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Usually, when, when there's pretty ladies who want to take photo uh, in a group, when there's Joshua around, usually I don't have the chance one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not, not by guessing, uh, so to all our viewers, Oh, friends on the show, if you look at Ken, right, we make a guess. Does he look better in pure white or does he look better in off-white? Or does he look better in white? You know what I mean? <laughs> pure white or off-white? <laughs> choi, choi, choi! <laughs> pure white or off-white? I, I go for pure white, okay? I think uh, Ken looks better in pure white. Ben, what do you think? I think off-white, uh, maybe. Well, okay. I I think I'm ready to show. Is it a oh, uh, show? Go ahead. Yes. Sure. Okay, I'm going to share screen right now. So this is uh, ben, uh, Ken, I keep saying Ben K, okay, picture. Okay. And now I'm going to just key in, uh, instead of using just uh, black or this, I'm going to use gray and bronze color. Okay. Gray and bronze color. Okay. Well, that's another way of Is profiling. the background affecting or not? Uh, slightly. Oh, nice. Okay. So right now we have got in terms of gray, uh, any color that is more in terms of cool gray, of course it's more in terms of cool color base. Anything that is more on the bronze is neutral towards warm color tone. Okay, so I want you all to just people to vote on this. Does he, does Ken looks better in just cool gray or neutral towards warm slightly brown on this, okay? Well, I so, go for cool gray, man. Mm. I go for cool gray. I cannot imagine Ken in a brownish attire or jacket. I, wow. I realize if I wear brown, I look naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so what happened was that uh, I think uh, Ken loved to wear. Lo you when I met him before, he loved to wear colors such as in terms of uh, green. Is that right, bro? Yes, and because colors. it's my mother's favorite color. <laughs> okay, okay. And I uh, guess what happened? Uh, this group here, we got a chance to travel overseas for a lot of training engagements. We went shopping for free and easy, and I did ask Ken to try out other colors. And if you look carefully on this part here, you may think at first glance, he might look better in bronze. But if you look carefully, the gray color does make him look a bit more, what you call a bit more in terms of a smooth up. Yeah, this. you see a lot of viewers are getting it there. Uh, Jenny says cool gray. Stephanie says cool gray. Uh, Shashi says cool gray. Edwina, cool gray. Uh, I think most people are saying cool gray, including Jesslyn Go and Daphne. Wow. Apparently, okay. I need to wear some colored glasses. Uh. I never do cool gray until I met Joshua. And everyone can see that I need the cool gray. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to pop by, pop over. Uh, the the right colors for him using the warm and the cool skin tone to exactly just now the color here. So this one I will just take it away and now pop by in the color tone, make it nearer to the face, nearer below, or you can make it bigger. Now tell me if you look at uh, Ken right now. Okay, which one will make him look much more clearer and not so tired? If you look carefully on this, okay, so we can see that the color over here and here. So with this, I like to say that cool color tone might look slightly better on him. This may not be the best color representation because of lighting, but it does show us a good accuracy sense that Ben looks, uh, I mean, Ken looks good in terms of blue, Ken looks good in terms of a neutral towards cool skin tone on this. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Ken, I think uh, remember the time we went shopping, we got a, a very nice view. You look great in the, the blues, the gray. Yeah. Hey, so, just I got a question. I got a question. You, saw, you know, you, you do this color analysis and you tell them what colors they look good yes, in. But what if they prefer definitely. other colors? Let's say Edwina say I prefer brown. So if yeah. I prefer a color that you don't recommend, then what do I do? Okay. Then this one, I'll like to tell you one thing. is between in terms of professionalism versus personality. So when I go for, when someone comes to me for coaching-wise consultation, 
I'll tell them that this color suits you, suits you, suits you. But there'll be someone who will tell me, oh, but my lucky color is this color. Okay? So my job is, as a professional, is always tell you what is, uh, through the analysis, the right color tone. I will try it once, twice. And the third time, I'll let the person know, actually, after decoment, your color is actually in terms of cool skin tone. But right now, because you see the color itself is that color, so we will just let you know that, yes, you can go to the color, or choose a different shade. We means the shade that is nearer towards cool skin tone. Yeah. So, personality-wise. Of course, I think Benjamin is our McDuo Spectrum personality profiling consultant guru, right, bro? Mm -hmm. hey ben, what's your, favorite, what's your lucky color? Uh, I don't really have a lucky color. Oh, Every okay. color is yeah. lucky for you. Uh. Uh, please, uh, Ben, when he wear his lucky color, wear inside, you all cannot see one. Uh. Yeah. Only my <laughs> can see. Uh. Lucky color cannot say yeah. one. But Joshua, Joshua, can I ask, um, I mean, um, following up on Arena's question and um, what um, Jensen has mentioned, right? Sure. I think the analysis that we did just now is not really to choose the particular color that is suitable or good for them, right? It's just to find out their tone. And then from there, the kind of um, colors that are suitable for the tone that they can pick their own favorite colors. Am I right to say that? That's right. And I saw Arena's uh, comments. She said that she prefer brown. Gray can be dull. I'd like to say that gray need not be dull because there's soft gray and there's also cool gray. So you must find the right shades of gray. For example, if you look at my jacket today or this vest, this vest itself, if you look nearer on this, it does have some hinge of sheen. And the sheen can cause it to be a clear tone. But if it's mm -hmm. more on matte, which means it's woven and it's grey colour, it causes it to be dull and soft. So maybe Edwina itself, she said that she prefer uh, brown or grey can be dull. She could be a clear skin tone. So a clear skin tone is someone who looks good in both warm and cool, but she they look particularly good in bright colours. Yay! So, uh, just look good in soft colours. So hey, we have, we have another good. friend on the show. Hi, Kelly. Kelly, I just come on. Hey, Kelly, would you like to come live? and have your color an analyze. <laughs> yeah, Kelly, would you like to come live and have your color oh. analyzed? Hi, Kelly, hi. Yeah. Yeah. If you like to uh, let Ken know, he'll bring you into the show. Wow, okay, so, so do we have, we talked a, about, about, a lot about colors today, uh, a lot about colors. Last week, we talked about face shape. Uh. So what else do we need to be concerned about? You know, now that our hair very long, yeah, does it take longer for us to start our hair? I, I tell you what, uh, this morning we had a seminar, right? Early on, before we went on this show again, I look at my hair, it has flattened down and I went to add more wax to uh, <laughs> puff it up, okay? So, yeah. And Joshua, you know, you always give cool, great tips. Uh. Yeah. And for me, for guys, uh, don't always talk about, uh, don't sure. always give ladies tips. For guys, how do we make our long hair look good uh, before we get to the barber or the stylist here? Okay. Because long hair can be a bit more heavy unless uh, you really know how to do a cut in between now. So when you put on the gel, guys, don't just put in the gel and just put everything in. If you look at my hair, my whole head, is, my whole head of hair is never gel fully. Is I just use in between first and I go in to create wave. So when I create the wave, it just helped me to go in so that what happened here, it will start to push up the long hair heavy, push up first, push up first, and then you hold. Once it dries up, I'll use a second gel. Wow, because of the COVID situation, I've got, uh, I'm using double gel, okay? Then I will use here to further push it and do it down so that everything is in place nicely to create the look. But if it's a, if it's a well-cut hair, if you go for a good haircut, actually you just need one time of gel. But Jensen, I think today you used five times, right? I'm just joking. Uh, about <laughs> 10 times, I think. Um, yeah. How about, how about Ben? Ben, today you also mentioned uh, your... Coach Luke, history. I got a question to ask you, Coach Luke. Sure, sure. I want to ask you, uh, if uh, for we talk about uh, men or uh, guys, uh, uh, you see some of them, uh, they leave long hair and uh, they're still able to keep it so nice. So um, if we keep long hair uh, for guys, do we tie it or do we just always gel and style it? Mm. I love this question. This question has got to do is, what kind of image or branding do you want to project? Okay, if I'm in this line, I'm doing this, and I'm actually doing in terms of corporate training speaking. If I were to keep long hair and I tie up or even into a man bun, that will not be what my audience is looking at. They perceive, perceive me as a different kind of branding image already. So it may not be what I want. Okay, but for some guys who say it's okay, I just want to be stylish. You mm -hmm. just want to keep it up here. Uh, you need to know you must have a full 
thick, uh, I mean, you must have full head of thick hair. And when you bunny up here, make sure it doesn't come out easily. You still need to be able to use a bit of gel. At the same time, just one stop shopping. Sorry to interrupt you. The yes. idea was uh, actually, sorry, it was like, uh, you know, Sir Richard Branson, his mm, hair yes. is grey and not one colour, but yet his long hair, it's so iconic and stylish, you know, it's like British. Yes. Uh, well, the wind blow in. When, when, you're in, when you're Sir Richard Branson, you long hair, no hair, <laughs> short hair, whatever <laughs> hair, people also say sweet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That be a long way for me then. Yeah, we did study about Richard Branson in our actually one of the case study. It's because his personal brand statement is he wants to have fun in his life and he, he, doesn't, he doesn't, he's not scared of making mistakes. So that's why his hair actually he's branding too. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Joshua, there's a question yeah, from Terence Ho in the comments. Uh -huh. So he was asking if you are wearing a suit with shirt and tie, any advice on the color tone or matching? Okay. Uh, this question has got a few multi layered. I'm just going to give a very, very uh, simple matching feel. Maybe you just want the tie and also the shirt. So if the tie itself is actually more patterned, keep it plain. If the, the, the shirt itself has got some pattern like checkered box design, all this, then keep the tie plain. Of course, some of you are very fashionable. You know how to do layering. So what do you do? Checkered box design with a tie, but the patterns cannot be almost the same line, grid, because people may be mistaken and see somehow, somehow somewhat something is not right. So you must know how to cut the pattern away and that's advanced dressing. So to keep it well, to simple, simplify it is pattern, then here should be plain. If it's pattern, then it's plain. And one more thing, if this is light color, then dark color. If this is light, then dark. Just simple as that. Two tips for you. Okay, thank you, Joshua. Oh, you know, Joshua is always on the show and giving us uh, what we call uh, fashion tips. Uh. So Terence, uh, someone said earlier that because uh, they are not very good in the, the knowledge of the wardrobe, so all these are very, very good tips. We also have Suzanto who says useful tips, not very good in the fashion department. Oh yes, Helen says, perhaps Ben can share what are the lucky colors during the next episode. <laughs> uh, welcome Sophie, Sophie, uh, welcome to the show. So every week we do about uh, one hour, one hour each, and we are coming to the last couple of minutes. So we want to say that uh, it's very, 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 very happy to have all our friends onto the show with us. If you have any new ideas or you have any things that you really want to find out about the industry uh, and you feel that there's someone whose story we should tell or someone we should bring onto the show, let us know because this show is about bring people with a passion for life, bring people with a purpose on the life insurance sector as for advisors, or bring people who wants to just simply shine forth with positive energy. And that's what we really want to do for you. And before we end the show, I remember earlier we said we wanted to have Ben do a forfeit. Uh, you remember now, guys? Hey, is it? Uh, okay, but I don't mind. Uh, yeah, Ben. <laughs> uh, yeah. Joshua, you don't, don't mind because you also know what your background now, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll probably buy now after I've done the, my part already. <laughs> yeah, he has a good reason for not having a virtual background. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we want to see. Uh, okay, uh, our friends on the show, if you want to see uh, Ben dance, uh, okay, can you put in the comments? Yes, yes, yes. At least click, you know, click thumbs up or click hearts. And then uh, we can see uh, what can uh, make Benjamin, Benjamin dance. Okay, so today we, oh, 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 yes, we would like to share your voice. Yes, correct. So Michael says, thanks for the great tips. We have some friends from Cambodia. We have some friends from Malaysia. We have, yes, uh, the dancing one is coming in. Ah, Ben, the dancing <laughs> one is coming in, okay? Okay, I tell you, I don't mind dancing, but no standing. Lah. So I don't mind doing uh, anything from the, 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 the waist up. So Joshua can teach some dancing moves. I don't mind become the backup dancer. Yeah. Hey, hey so not Joshua, Joshua sorry, Carol Benjamin, Graham. Benjamin. I <laughs> got it wrong. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Carol Graham. <laughs> then we can just double him. You know, don't know how to dance, you know, Joshua. Uh, hey, you, you, Ben, you, you cannot run from this, you know. You know how many yeses are we getting? Yeah. How yeah. many yeses? Yeah. Well, yeah. How many hearts and how many... Come on, Ben. Uh, I'll be your backup dancer, Sabo. don't worry. Yeah, Sabo. Hey, uh, you, you, know, you know the magical thing about this? You know, the number of people who is like clicking like and clicking hearts uh, is like amazing now. You know, oh my God, my computer is getting hanged because of all the hearts. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yes. Ben, Ben, you oh got my it. god! So you know, you know, like all those drama serial, right? Those show with all the excitement now. Join us next week for the dance. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot do that to our viewers. Come on, Ben! 
Yeah, yes, we can't yes. do that to our viewers. Anyway, Ben has promised you a full dance next week, okay? So next week, we'll have that Ben do a yes. full dance. But he we'll... said it. He said it. Uh, I, I, this, think this I'm, I think I'm trailer. Uh, next week, maybe I'm not free. Uh. <laughs> this is a trailer. Hey, Annabelle says, steady lah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, so later, later, you stay, stay on with the show. Later, when we play the show ending music, uh, that's where you can see Ben and Ken dance. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. And a couple of minutes, we will end the show. But we like to say that it's a very, very, very enjoyable, yeah! and enjoyable yeah. time with all of you. And by the way, next week, would you still like to see Joshua do live uh, image profiling for our audience? If you would like Joshua to come back, could you also put? Uh, put his name there, Joshua, Joshua, Joshua. Yeah. Hey, if you want a Helen... chance to be profiled by him, yeah, you should put his name there for him to come back. Yeah, Ben, Helen says uh, you got to do it tonight. Eh? If not, we will not end the show. Uh. We will and not oh, end the show. Ending, oh, ending music, come on, we picture. shall not let down our fans. Yes. Ending music, <laughs> we will do it. Ending music, we will do it, yeah? Yeah, and we have a friend from Cambodia who has posted a dancing picture. Yes. Yeah, and by the way, if you want to see the dancing, the real dancing king, right? Go to episode three of Munch with Ben and Jen on my Facebook page. That is the one you're watching now. And you can see Joshua lead everybody in dancing. Or rather, he was dancing himself. <laughs> yeah, or sabot, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, our friends, well, you are seeing Ken's background. Ken's background is the actual Munch Munch shop. So uh, this show started the first three episodes at Munch Munch shop. It's a cool place. It's a beautiful place. Lots of old school, nice, beautiful memories. Because Circuit Breaker, we bring it online. So when Circuit Breaker blows over, we'll see how we get back to the shop. And then we can play some of the old school toys, have some of the old school tidbits, and have some of the games. Uh. Yeah. So let's get, have a live return to the new norm. Don't you miss your friends? Yeah, don't you miss your friends? You see, yeah. Ben, Joshua has put back his virtual background. You're still not doing it. How yeah. can we let you go? How can we let you all? Yeah. yeah. So Joshua, teach me a dance so I can do it now. Choreograph something now, Joshua. Joshua was a dance choreographer as well. Yay! Yay! Anything and everything. Yeah, come Joshua. How come halfway through I felt that the whole thing was thrown back to me? Uh? Okay. <laughs> Just, okay. <laughs> yeah. I teach you, do what? Uh? Sure. Okay, okay yeah. come on, man. Okay, I'll, I'll spotlight. Uh, ben, Ben's video first, okay? Spotlight Ben's video. Music, please! Okay, Spotlight Ben's video. Yes, okay. They must, so, wait, hey, they must see Joshua teaching me. Uh, they must see what's the actual move. So no, no, you, you, hello, hello, hello. Hello. you can read you just, you, can. Just, you just stay there, please, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want fast or slow music, Ben? Depending on choreographer. Okay, choreographer. Uh, oh, um, okay. Faster, faster. Okay. Faster, how fast? Uh, okay, like tung 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 tung. Oh, you think the music? Okay, yeah. Whenever we use our special music, ah. Uh. Okay. Hey, you, you guys are not looking now. It looks complicated already, Joshua. Relax, eh, Joshua. Okay, okay. Wait, we. I I will spotlight <laughs> Joshua to showcase first. Joshua, now you can showcase first, okay? Then after oh, I'll spotlight okay. him and he will dance. Okay, Joshua, <laughs> come. Okay, so it goes tung 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 tung. Yo, tung. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I give you the last Andy Lau or the Aaron Kwok feel, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, the one. internet bandwidth is not helping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Hey Ben, how? Dung, 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 dung. Okay, I, I tell you what, like, whatever you have seen, uh, you just do your own version, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready for Ben to show you his version of what it means to dance on the screen, give him a round of applause. Woo! Okay, music. Okay, okay Ben. So, uh, we're going to have you uh, simple music, okay? Simple music, huh? Simple music. Come on. Apollo, Joshua, that's over. Okay. Okay, let's go. Yeah, very good. Well done. Uh, keep going, keep going. Yes. Woo! Okay, more stuff. Woo! 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 <laughs> Joshua's elbow to me. Yes! Yay! Well done, well done. Oh. Okay, that was a very spotting Benjamin. Well, As you can see, my yeah, well now. done, Ben. Well done. <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah, I think uh, none of us. I can bring ever... you go clubbing already. <laughs> wow! See, everybody is cheering for you. Okay, so uh, 
according to the request by the audience, uh, Azri, Azri say, Yoo-hoo! Kelly say, Tia, you. Yeah, everyone is giving you a round of applause. Okay, yay. So this is the spirit that we want to bring you, to, bring you from the show. And on the show, there's lots of fun, lots of laughter, lots of joy and spontaneity. We want also to bring our audience into the show. So next week, if you like Joshua to be back, let us know. And when Joshua comes back, we will also have more audience being profiled by him again. Hey, but Joshua, next week, what is the focus that we want to do? Okay, if we next week we talk about it, I would like to talk about in terms of uh, accessories wise, not just for the ladies, but also oh, for accessories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For guys as well? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Even accessories. Square, yeah. Why should someone wear a vest and the vest cannot be too, how much the right length, all this? Even the ladies' earrings. Yeah, your accessory can be like nunchakus also, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Sorry. <laughs> nunchaku, the, 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 yeah, that martial art. Oh, nothing, thing, nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you get used to it, get used to it. Sometimes Ken say something that Joshua cannot catch. Uh, <laughs> but uh, later, Ken, you better teach him, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so to all our friends, this is uh, coming to the end of Ken and Ben episode 9. We will see you next Tuesday night at 9 p.m. We will see you again. Stay at home, stay safe, stay healthy, and always stay happy. Thank you, guys. Thank this you, everyone. Jackson. Bye bye. Thank you for logging in. One hour. <laughs> See you next week with Joshua and accessories. The martial arts. <laughs> nanchakus. You know what's nanchakus, no? And bring the nanchakus next week, uh. yeah, yeah. You know, you, you know Bruce Lee. Yes. Bruce Lee. Ato! Ato! Oh. Ato! Okay. Ato! Okay, okay, yes. You okay. said accessories, ma. You didn't say what kind of accessories. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah.